what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are at Drayton Manor for the first day of the 2024 season and if you haven't seen in the background we are in the brand new area Frontier Falls that has opened so uh, looking really really forward to checking all this out today obviously checking out uh, Sheriff Showdown and uh, Blasting Barrels as well to see what they've done with them uh, and also to check out the construction work going off at the roller coaster. but Look forward to today, how about you mate? Yeah, I am looking forward to it to be fair. It's a lovely day as well. It's a really nice day and we've just, we've, yeah, like I say, just entered the new area and the music is amazing, the new music. Just really it gets does, you in the, gets yeah, you in the... Good beat, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sets the vibe anyway, yeah. should we say that. Um, but yeah, looking really, really good for what we can see so far. So we're also going to go and check out the wave, which obviously isn't open yet. Um, but we're going to go and check it out anyway, see what they been doing in uh, Adventure Cove. Obviously we'll go into Vikings as well but firstly we're going to start off in Frontier Falls and just look around at all the uh, pieces of uh, scenery that, that they've added to this area. Yeah. I mean there's quite a bit to look at. So yeah. They've added some nice little bits. There's quite a few Roman acts as well yeah. like we saw actually walking into the area which yeah. is nice. Uh, obviously as well Rory is in this area so we're going to have to go and uh, Get him on as well, won't we? Yeah, Traitor Manor's mascot. <laughs> so uh, we'll walk up Frontier Falls and uh, show you all the theming that they've added to this new area for 2024. So starting off as you enter the area, we're at the Falls Theatre. So now they've got a new 4D show on, the Looney Tunes. And it says the shows are on from 10.30 all the way through till 5 every uh, 15 minutes as well. Yeah, I really love how they've uh, sort of re-themed it as well with, like, with all the colours for the area. It looks really, really nice. But yeah, there we go, Looney Tunes 4D. So I'll have to check that out at some point today. And obviously walking up here as well, along the main street, we've got the Wild Bills Hotel and Saloon. Like I said as well up here, there is going to be a photo opportunity at the jail, like I thought there would be. It did look like it on the photos as well. We've got the bank. The bank, the sheriff's office, and the jail here at the end. So here we got a bit of a glimpse on the new roller coaster in this Wild West themed area. Looks really, really good. Looks like they're doing the station building now over there. The showdown has been touched up a little bit. But we might as well get a ride on it now and see if anything's changed inside. Here we go, Maze. It's not as gone. <laughs> it's making a bit of a weird noise, though. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see if anything's changed. Has been a while, though, since I've come in here, so. Might not notice the little things. Well, it doesn't look like anything's changed in here anyway. It's all the same, isn't it? I thought they might have touched it up a little bit, but it is all the same. By the looks of it anyway. I'm just um, getting all the points. Taking full <laughs> advantage of the um, only one who's uh, shooting. Oh, he definitely is. <laughs> Time for Blasting Barrels, that has obviously been renamed from Drunken Barrels. Obviously we got all the new theme in, looking really, really nice now. They've touched it up, all the back there as well. Let's get on it. get more of a better view from Blast and Barrels here, don't you, Maze? Oh, you definitely do. This Intamin family lift and launch coaster is looking very nice. Um, it, it looks like it's pretty going to be a decent coaster. Pretty pretty decent length. A little bit, bit a little bit longer than um, Accelerator. And yeah, it's just looking very nice. And it definitely goes with the area. Yeah, looking forward. So this obviously opening later on this year. That is Blasting Barrels on Sheriff's Showdown done. Do like the new smoke effects actually on uh, Blasting Barrels. That's yeah. really good. I mean, they've definitely, it? like I said, they've definitely gone to town on uh, Blasting Barrels. Definitely like 
touch that up very nice with all the uh, TNT and explosives. Yeah, definitely looks a lot better now, doesn't it, down yeah. here? Oh, I yeah. have done it. I think we're going to get a ride on, well, we might as well get a ride on Accelerator now because it is literally right here. So I don't know if you'd class it in this area or not. What do you reckon? Uh, do you reckon you would? Yeah, it, you might do. It, it, it is I past mean, it, the entrance sign, but yeah. it's kind of like, yeah. It kind of doesn't really go with the area, but it's kind of in the I mean, it looks like, yeah. it, it does look a bit different though, the building. I think they have yeah, they touched have it up, touched up a little, a little bit, bit to, just a little bit. Yeah, just to, it's like, I think the entrance is a part of it, but the actual ride isn't part of the area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but really happy with Frontier Falls uh, so far. I can't wait for the roller coaster to open up, which will definitely finish it off. But now it's time for a bit of Accelerator. Okay, so we might as well finish up this area with a bit of Looney Tunes 4D. Let's get it. So that was a Looney Tunes 4D. Uh, pretty good show. We did actually wait uh, quite a while, didn't we, to get in there? Yeah. I think yeah. it was like 25 minutes, was it? We was waiting to get in there. Yeah. So it wasn't every 15 minutes like displayed. Probably, yeah. Um, probably close to every half an hour. I think it's every half an hour. Just something to bear in mind. Unless that was just obviously unfortunate, the, the, the unfortunate yeah. and we, you know, we caught it at a bad time. Uh, but yeah, it took about half an hour all in all before we actually got in. And it was quite funny, weren't it, on the, um, you know, on the. Um, what was it? The the video. Yeah, the, like, the, safe, the safety, <laughs> the safety video. announcement. Yeah, the, that was quite funny. So, um, literally, <laughs> basically, when you go on it, just expect a very old school, like 1970s, 1970s. kind of safety video with the sound um, effects as well. Yeah, I'm not, I think I don't know if they're trying. To be everyone funny running into. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was um, thinking that. Like, are they trying to be funny or is that? Is that is, is, being serious? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but now we're going to check out Vikings and see if anything's changing here. Well, we might get some food actually first because we are pretty hungry. Yeah. Some fish and chips maybe, maybe or yeah. we'll have a look in the Vikings and see if there's anything in here as well. Because, um, yeah, obviously last time we had some wraps, didn't we? Yeah, we did them for um, a That was all but, very nice, but um, sometimes they're not always that filling. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to bear that in mind, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll uh, see you when we've got some food. Food acquired and we've gone for, well, say fish and chips, but we've gone for a chicken and mushroom pie and chips because, well, while Hallow was closed, over in the Vikings area. So, um, I mean, I think we was going to get this anyway, but we thought we'd go and have a look anyway. Uh, so yeah, like I said, chicken and mushroom pie, got uh, chips, curry sauce, all right there, and then I've gone for a Vimto with that as well. But Maze, what have you got? I've gone for a jumbo sausage, chips and curry sauce. One observation we did make is we thought there was a little bit stingy on the chips. Thought they maybe could have filled it up a little bit Could have filled it up a bit more, yeah. couldn't they? I might have got a uh, Coke Zero as well. And I feel like we didn't really say much about the Looney Tunes uh, 4D experience. No. It was pretty good, you know, you got all the effects and, uh, well, water effects, but like, the um, like, like the air effects as well and lighting, um, which was uh, really good. But it's going to be one of them things into where you if you've seen it once, yeah, you don't really, you know, need you don't really, really need to see it again. Uh, but that's just like with any sort of 4D experience anyway. So uh, we're going to get these chips and well, sausage, sausage and, chips and pie. And <laughs> yeah. We're going to get all that down us, and then we're going to head back into the Vikings area. Uh, and uh, get on four and um, Loki. Choco Choco, Choco Choco. Everybody say a chocolate. Wait, goes on. Chocolate. All right, starting off in the Vikings area with Joe Manganda. And you get a really nice view actually of the a new roller coaster from here. But yeah, nice little family coaster Joe Manganda is. Of course, was once the Buffalo Coaster. Here we go now, getting on Loki for our second ride in the Vikings area. Nice Sam Perla ride here. So 
There we go. On to four, finishing up in the Vikings area. Get a good view of the wave over the lake from here. We're going to head over to Adventure Cove after we've done four, and it has just like recently broken down, but there's a few people waiting, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long now until it gets back going again. That is Vikings done. Obviously, we did miss out Slipney, but we do want to get over to Adventure Cove, check out um, what has been happening with the wave, check the what's way. changed so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we do want to get on uh, Maelstrom as well as a uh, wave swinger and hopefully air race, but we have got a five o'clock close uh, this evening, so, um, and I think it's like almost half four, is it? Something like yeah. that. So um, we're gonna try and get as much in as we can, really. But I don't think we're gonna have enough time to go around the zoo today. So we'll have to do that next time we come. Uh, but yeah, we'll just head over to Adventure Cove and see um, what's changed over there for this season. Starting off here in Adventure Cove on Maelstrom. Not very chilled out there, mate. Yeah, it's very relaxing, you know, the sun's out, just just a very chilled day here at Drake Manor. We've got the music to go with it. And yeah, what more could you ask for? We're getting a wave swinger. Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna be getting a wave swinger in a minute. Just, just nice and relaxing. You know, when you're on the rise you get a bit of a breeze. It just feels like, yeah, so chilled. Final ride of the day on the air race. What did you say, Maze? I just said um, one unpleasant <laughs> ride to finish the day off with. I suppose he's not wrong. We just had a really nice, chill, relaxing ride on Wave Swinger, and that is a nice ride to finish the day off with. Yeah. But now we're coming straight onto this, we're going to feel so ill after. <laughs> we are. Well, That's what it at is, least it's the it? final ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be done. Well here we are at Shockwave, obviously reimagined as the wave. So you can see they've added this big like sort of entrance bit over the queue line. Looks really good, doesn't it, Maze, so far? Yes, it is. And I hope they are gonna actually paint up the track a little bit because uh, we were saying it does look pretty uh, obviously tired at the moment, worn out. Definitely does need a bit of a, a repaint, but I'm hoping that is obviously going to come before it does reopen. Um, but the new actual train is on, so we'll try and get a clip from there as well. Here we go, just taking a walk up to the lift hill area. There we can see the new train at the top, which is obviously the sit down lap bar restraints. So it's definitely gonna add a whole new experience to this ride. I'm looking forward to it opening up when it does but we've still not got yet yeah, an official confirmed opening day for this ride. Well, all in all, I think it's been a pretty successful opening day, really. Um, I, I've got to say as well, like, there's been some good like um, operations and availability today. Like, obviously, sometimes some of the rides do obviously break down, which is unfortunate, but today it's been actually pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, there hasn't been many rides that have gone down, so um, that always adds to it as well. Um, I think there was just, well, there were just four, weren't there? That's, yeah, we just noticed four went down, but yeah, it's, like I say, been very smooth. Yeah, been uh, really, really good. Obviously, the weather's been nice as well, yeah. which always makes a massive difference when you come into the parks. Um, so, yeah, not a lot really more we could ask for. Obviously, as well, we checked out the uh, brand new area, Frontier oh, yes. Falls. Yeah. We saw the new Looney Tunes 4D show. Uh, obviously as well uh, and checked out the um, uh, new roller coaster as well yeah. 
Yeah, wow, so, that's good. Can't wait to get on Still not got a one for, <laughs> star go day for that though yet. So there we go, we've got two coasters waiting here for an opening day. So yeah, hopefully so when, we're gonna find out very, very when, soon. Yeah, and when they do both open, it's just gonna really increase the ride. I mean, there's there's loads of flat rides here. It's gonna be really good but, to, yeah, to get here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the only thing we haven't done is just walk, walk around the zoo. Uh, but we'll have to do that next time. I mean, I think there has been like, they have got a, like, a little event on as well in Thomas Land, like the it's Thomas Land Easter, it's called, uh, where they have like a little like Easter, a couple of little yeah. Easter shows on I here. Mean, we, we have noticed, I think there might be like an Easter like egg trail around here because we noticed a few Easter Yeah, there is that as well. Um, so if you're in, into that, I suppose you can. You can always give that a go. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you want to, uh, yeah. Want to go on the Easter egg hunt trail, uh, but yeah, that is everything. So obviously next time when we come, we will get a walk in the zoo, and uh, we'll check out the uh, entertainment in Thomas Land. So if you did all enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.